Clone Hero is by far the best way to play any sort of rhythm game, whether it be Rock Band or Guitar Hero in the modern age. The best thing about Clone Hero is you can play any songs that you want from the previous games, as well as a bunch of community games and custom songs that were never previously made for Guitar Hero and Rock Band. And if you didn't know, Guitar Hero and Rock Band are made by the same studio, Harmonix, which obviously later went to make Rock Band. While Fortnite Festival might be a good future option, and they're working on creating guitars that you can play on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 kind of services, and the song selection on Fortnite Festival is abysmal, and they're gonna charge 500 V-Bucks, which is $4.50 for a song. It's also worth showing that you can set this up to play in a keyboard mode. So I have it set up under a keyboard profile and you can play it exactly like you would expect. Go to the songs that you wanna play. I have it set up to gamepad mode and then all you have to do is hit ready. It's a little janky because you're trying to set up the buttons like you would for a guitar controller and you can play it like you would Fortnite Festival. A lot of people think that you have to have a controller, specifically a guitar controller, to play Clone Hero. You can use any controller you want, and you can use your keyboard. And the only downfall to this is that it is a PC game. So I'll always hear like, oh, we don't have a console version. And I hear you guys for Fortnite Festival, but invest in a cheap computer because Clone Hero does not take that much processing power. And then you can essentially have as much songs that you want. So let's get started with the PS2 SG. Now the thing about this controller is you're going to need an adapter. So you would just hook the end into the controller part that you would plug into a PlayStation 2 and then you just put the other end into your PC and this will immediately recognize it. Some annoyances with this controller is that right away you'll have to kind of configure it yourself. So you'll have to hit spacebar and find the controller. For example, mine shows up as this weird tiger game thing. So the only downfall about this controller is right out of the box, if you were to use an adapter with this controller, the whammy bar is not gonna work because the analog stick doesn't get picked up on a lot of these USB converters. So if you're getting a cheap USB converter, you're gonna have to get some sort of other software. But personally, that's not a problem because I, I don't really care to perfect a song in score attack. I just wanna quickly play a song like this. Yes, I'm left-handed, get out of chat with that. I don't care what you guys say, I'm left-handed. Blame God or something. So that's the third worst option. Now, the obvious bad options, like I mentioned in the beginning, are Rock Band controllers, because usually all those are gonna need dongles. The PlayStation controllers, the PlayStation 3 controllers, don't buy any of those, because those, again, require dongles. If the dongle's missing, you have to buy some overpriced thing online. So the reason why you don't want to use any PlayStation controller, because one, they're going to use dongles and they're going to also give you a lot of latency and you're going to still need to plug them into those cheap PS2 adapters if you're using a PS2 one. Now the Xbox 360 controllers work all around. You just need this 360 to USB adapter that was officially made from Microsoft or a third party brand one that's very similar. The next best option is gonna be any Wii controller. And what you're looking to do is you're looking to buy a RAF, there's like this thing called a RAFnet adapter, but I actually just went to some guy's Etsy store and bought a little sort of piece that you plug into uh, the nunchuck slot. And it came with a USB type C, you just plug it right in. And this is probably, this is the most sleeper build for guitar controllers. This, this is a really cheap option. If you can get a controller like this, I bought mine for 15. And then you can find one of these bad boys. You just plug it in. I'm doing this literally live, so there's no trickery. You plug it in, there's no lights. You hit the pause or you hit the start button, you go to your profile, boom, you're in here like no one's business. I'm trying to show the whammy bar. Oh, I missed it. I'm holding my controller so stupid. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the whammy. <laughs> I can't even do this. See, it has whammy. This is the controller that everyone's gonna recommend. It is the Explorer controller. Now, this is the best controller because it's, it's the literal plug and play controller for this, this uh, system. And the best thing about this is it has this, has whammy, and it has everything for it, and you don't have to do some weird setup. I'm gonna whip it. 
It's also worth noting that on these controllers, there's also the select button that is a manual star mode, but most people probably don't want to do that. They want to just whip it up. Just the, the iconic way to set star mode up. I make a ton of nostalgic content. I love rhythm games. I just recently got back into it. So I'm trying to help beginners figure out what controllers they need to get. And I did a bunch of research. These are the three ones that I recommend and I hope you enjoy this video.